Quinn McNeil able to settle it nicely. And here could another opportunity for Brighton. He could be 1v1. He is. Shot. Goal. Offside. Flag is up. That looked on to me. At first glance, it looked like the left the left sided player left sided back kept kept him on and he's on. Ooh, he's on. He's on. It, it's to me it's not even so he comes back in to, to form this partnership with Oscar who was a freshman last year and I thought he did a tremendous job uh, making that adjustment from Sweden to, to college soccer and now uh, they both look very, very strong. And yeah, there's Ogward stepping forward again. Malmo, Sweden is his hometown, grew up in that academy and uh, has had an outstanding career. Getting players out of position, now they're starting to settle in. Constant and uh, Zaterin understanding, okay, let's drop a little bit, let's keep them in front of us. And then at the same time, we, we can't just drop and allow them to come up and build a you know possession into our half. Nice job by Say to control that pass and lay it off to Smith, allowing Smith to to charge forward and get the second corner of the match for Clemson. And it's quick. Kamari Smith holds up ball and then say he lays it off and then Kamari knows exactly what to do. When you have that much space and you have pace and then take off. Smith plays it short. Back to him. He's got a lot of room now. Floats it in. Not the best cross. -off. Smith on it again. Asensio and create the opportunity, but now back comes Kamarni Smith. Pulled Constant out of a center back spot. Floats it in. Touched up by Smear. Header! Oh, just wide from Barber. And we come right back down the other end, Dallin. Another chance that you can't afford to not put on target. And James Brighton shook up afterwards. This is where you want Kamarni Smith isolating Matt Constant. Can't keep up with him for pace, but plays in a great ball. Smear can only swipe at it. And McNeil, hands on his face, he knows the goal was wide open. It's plopped up, he sees it. All you have to do is just re- Attack here. Out to Smith. 1v1 with Sinclair. And Santi Herrera came back and helped out and cleaned it up. Sinclair on the ball. Sinclair playing the right back spot in the stead of Mark Salas, a senior on this team that had been looking back post for Smith. Fernandez Salvador is going to get in line. Driven ball, nobody back post. Falls from Mayaka, first time strike right to the arms of Smear, but good technique to keep it on frame. That's a job well done by Kamari Smith to use his right, right foot to play in Felipe Fernandez Salvador. Good run by Felipe Fernandez to keep himself on side, and he whips in a ball where James, or you just try and blast it through the wall. Maybe you hope that the wall splits, they jump, or they jump and you play it under them. But to get it up and over, it, it's it's very difficult from this angle to get it over the wall and have it dip under the, the crossbar. Fernandez, Salvador, and Smith over the ball. It'll be Smith, low driven, goal! And the senior from England breaks the deadlock for the Tigers! And the celebration to go with it. He earned the set piece. He steps up and he buries it. He went low. The wall seemed to break apart and he capitalized. The seniors stepping up in a big way for his team this year. Here it is. They jump, it goes right underneath the wall. It's a clever taken free kick. Well done, Kamarni Smith. 1-0 Clemson. With his 21st career goal in the Orange of Clemson, Last year, first team All-ACC player, second team All-American, pops up in another big spot. This is when you tell team. your wall, don't jump. Let's see if he has that ability to play over the wall and have it dip under the crossbar. Do not jump. It's a great point. This is a great note about Mike Noonan's teams. Check, check that record.
shoulder in practice. He a little contact of the player. As now Grayson Barber charging forward, looking to cut it back, looking for more. Lays it up for Brighton. Still loose Smith. Proves it. 2 And a you said it. the senior. If Clemson get in the lead, they're not relinquishing it. They're going to continue to go forward. And North Carolina is forced to open up the field and attack. And now Clemson, they're all, all about it. They're going to continue to push forward. Come on, Smith again. You're right down. It's, it's the brace. And it's, it's, it's from who we thought would step up in a match like this. The ball's played wide into the channel for Grayson Barber, who's aggressive on the front foot, chops it back, tries to get a shot off, but James Brighton swings, misses, and Kamarni Smith comes over from the left side, ready to capitalize. He's got his eye on the ball, opportunistic, and roofs it. Nothing Clemson, uh, UNC could do to prevent that goal. Well done. Nice job on that toucher to get it away from his feet and be able to blast it up over Smear, who was coming out to challenge. And now this Carolina team finds themselves in a deficit as Kamarni Smith gets his fourth goal of the campaign. They've scored three goals all season. Covering players, he checks back, and it's, it's almost like you, you never see him get tired. Our best midfielders, 21-year-old playing at RB Leipzig. Opportunity here for Barber there. Charging into the box, still Barber. You make you level at 2-2. Now, do you continue to press? We have an opportunity here. Barber might be one-on-one with Smears. Smears power up his line. Barber tries to run, and he finishes! Almost a carbon copy of his game winner against NC State last game. He replicates it for the 3-2 advantage for the Tigers. If it's not Kamarni Smith, then it's Grayson Barber. And UNC, they get back into the game. They get their lines high. And that is the problem. That's, that's the, the fault right here is where you push high, you give that space up behind, and it's the well-timed run from Grayson Barber. Good ball in from Callum Johnson. Alex Muir comes out, he goes around, and then bangs it home. He lifts it so the sliding Zaterran can't get a chance at keeping it out. Oh, it's beautiful. And he does the Rock the Baby celebration. <laughs> Puts Clemson up 3-2. He's the reigning offensive player of the week in the conference. He might go back to back as he scores his second. In the target, he won. And Key White. Brighton on it, heads up again. Played up to the channel, Smith. will settle for a second. Nice turn. But eventually turned over by Barber. And this is where last second header by Filippo Zatarin, their center back. Marty Smith commits the foul. And if you if you look at the goals that UNC scored, they're they're all self-inflicted on North Carolina about to bring in a line change once they get all out of play when they're in possession they can make that change they've got four guys waiting at the table they've been subbing like crazy five they're making a whole uh, this, this starting five change it seems Olufsen in some trouble and apologies I think I misspoke through our graphic earlier that said that if you sub out in the first overtime you can't come back you can come back in the second if you sub out in the first and you see guys such as Montes Dioka and others on the pitch right now for Carolina charging forward Charlie Asensio. He tries to get in line and cross it, floats it back post. Oh, what a contact again. Smear came out, but this was this time with Kamarni Smith. 
who's on a hat trick if he puts one in the back of the net. And Charlie Asensio does a good job to get this cross off. It's curling to the six yard box. And Kamarni just bangs into Alex Mir. He tried to cut out in front of him and leap. But Alex Mir got to it first. The right call. And now there's no yellow card there. And the funny thing is, is Alex Smear had possession and then was clobbered by Kamarni Smith. No foul. 